Hello everyone, welcome back for another Code and Chat with Zach. Uh, once again we're going to be dealing with the .bat file and I had a couple of questions concerning the last video on how to change the color of your background and a couple of other questions dealing with customizing your Superfly background. So notice today I have two image files here, Batman and Superman, and we are going to first go ahead and open our browser to text-image.com and then you want to go to the convert and the ASCII. Next thing we're going to do is find our file. I'm going to go ahead and do Batman and we can tell it to convert. Now notice we want to grab all of the text that relates to our image. In this case right here I'll just copy that and minimize this. Now let's go ahead and go to our CMD and let's start a new file. We'll call that notepad batman.bat. Remember it is a BAT file. We'll hit enter. That'll open our screen or our new uh, notepad file. Yes, we want to save it. Now the first thing as always at echo off. The second line is color. And notice this color scheme right here follows the matrix theme. However, you do have several options, and you can find those by going color, help. And here are your options. Now, here are your backgrounds. Here are your text colors. So let's say that you would like a blue background with white text. You would just go color, one. F and notice it turns blue with white background. Now for the Batman, we're going to go ahead and go with color. Let's see, black for a background and yellow for our font. A little more Batman-y. All right, great. So we'll come back over here. Notice we'll do color and that was zero. E, capital E. Now we can go ahead and put a our image in. So we'll go ahead and paste that. Now remember that we do have to put in echo on every line. And the easiest way to do that, there we go, copy, is just come down here and put in. Now this is a little time consuming, especially if your image is very large. However, it is worth it to have your own custom screen for your bat file. And let's see, it looks like two more. Great. Now, the next thing that we want to do is test this. We can do that. We just simply save it close and oops. now notice that it's disappearing very quickly so we can go ahead and open up our CMD once more as well as our bat file we can do this just edit and we can go ahead and put in a pause now there's two types of pause so we'll just go ahead and say pause save well, we don't need that right this moment. So now we have our Batman symbol. Notice we have press any key to continue and then it disappears. So let's go ahead and edit this one more time. Now we can do pause null, which will give us the same screen. However, it stays up until we hit, but it doesn't say it. Now, notice this right here. Up at the top, I typed an empty echo, and it says echo is off. If you want to add some space here, you need to go ahead and put in a title instead of an echo. So you can say, oops, 
try that again. Title Batman Super Cool. All right. Now the last thing that we want to do is the Batman symbol is very cool. However, we want it to be functional. So we'll go ahead and say start. And now you can start as we did in our previous uh, program on bat files opening either a CMD or a, any program you like. For simplicity's sake, I'll just put cmd.exe here. And that will save. That will allow us to hit enter and voila now we have our screen well thank you for uh, your questions if you like this video like and subscribe thank you have a good day